All right, let's talk about iOS 5. Starting with notifications. We have a new notification center. You can get to it any time just by swiping your finger down from the top. Notifications are no longer blocking. So if you're playing a game and a notification comes up, it just subtly comes up at the top. From the lock screen, you can see more of your notifications. And you can just swipe across any of these, and it'll take you directly to the app. You can send text, photos, videos, iMessages are pushed to all your devices. Next up is a brand new app, and it's Reminders. Reminders like pick up dry cleaning, make a dinner reservation. You can have location-based reminders. So you could say, remind me to pick up my dry cleaning when I leave work. And it'll set up a geofence around where you are, and when you leave work, it'll pop up that reminder. We have integrated Twitter deeply into the OS. So you can tweet photos. You can tweet websites from Safari, videos from YouTube, locations for maps, and more. Newsstand makes it even better to experience reading newspapers and magazines on your iPad. Now, we've created a new location in the App Store that gathers all of these subscription newspapers and magazines together, so it's easy to find them. So now, if you double click on the Home button, this new button appears, the Camera button. And if you tap on that, you're taken directly and immediately to the camera app. And you can even optionally use the volume up button to take that photo. You can add optional grid lines. You can pinch to zoom right in the viewfinder. You can put your finger down and hold it on a given location, and it'll set the auto exposure and auto focus lock to that point. Once you've taken your photos, you can now edit them. Next up is Game Center, routing photos. You see your friends. We're adding achievement points so you can compare how you're doing against your friends. We're giving friend recommendations and game recommendations. And so we want to make it even better. And we've added a number of things. One is reader. You see up top, there's this new reader button. When you tap on that button, we take the story on the web page you're currently on, and we format it perfectly for that device. We have added full tab browsing to the iPad. And it makes it really easy to quickly switch between websites. We've made mail better in a number of ways. We've added rich text formatting. Control the indentation. Drag addresses between the two, CC and BCC. You can now search the entire body of a message, including messages back on the server that aren't even on your iPhone. And for the iPad, we have a nice one where you can just swipe to get to the inbox very quickly in portrait and dismiss it. Now, you take it out of the box. It looks like this. You set it up, and you're good to you're good to go. There's no need for a computer. We've added support for wireless updates. iOS 5 is a free update and will be available on October 12th next week.